All right, so it might have been like a day for you, but it's a second later, and my head is still like, what the fuck? I gotta, chapter 12, I gotta keep going with this. It's freaking me out. It looks like the kidnappers made a big mistake. The girl in the trunk is Jowd's daughter, not the minister's. Okay. So I can tell them that. When I get back to the office, things are gonna get even more out of hand. The devastated man was being grilled by the fiery detective lady. Lynn. Come on, Lynn. I told Lynn about what I had found out about the kidnapping. That there that it wasn't the Justice Minister's daughter who had been abducted. Kidnapping had been holed up in Camilla's old house, and that they sensed my presence and were already gone. Did you tell her? Ah, oh, fuck. But Camilla! Why'd they have to... Why do they have Camilla? Their father isn't the stupid old Justice Minister? I think the stupid old part's a little uncalled for. Looks a little like the kidnappers made a mistake. That poor girl kidnapped for the ransom of her own father's execution. It's just too much! It's a cruel twist of fate, I agree. Then there are those other twists. The kidnappers winding up using Camilla's old house as their hideout. There's no way it could just be a coincidence! And them sensing my presence, they seem to know about the powers of the dead. Or at least... she does. I just don't understand any of it! I told you before, Detective, I want you to stand back. Who cares about distance at a time like this? Look, Mr. Minister, it wasn't your daughter they kidnapped! Don't try and pretend you didn't hear what we were saying. Goo! How can I believe you? I'm a realist. That's not what realists are. Realists look at a fucking comet coming to strike the Earth, and they're like, well, fuck, we're all dead. Optimists are like, oh, maybe it'll pass right by. Or, you know, maybe it won't kill us all. How about that? Nihilists are like, I better just kill myself before it happens. Realists are like, we're gonna die. Ah. If you don't believe what you s we say, see for yourself. Just call home and... I tried calling a hundred times. My wife won't answer. She won't? It's complicated. Oh, why does life have to be such a complicated thing? But if she doesn't have that, doesn't that mean everything's normal? It doesn't prove it. Am I being watched? And I'm being watched. I can't have the police go check for me. Besides, if the execution isn't carried out tonight, the hostage would be killed. What difference does it make if it's not my daughter? That's a good point. <laughs> I I have a feeling who I that I know who this is. Hooey, that's quite a pickle, Mr. Minister. Quite a pickle. Hell yeah! Miss me, baby? It's back to Cabanilla! Hoo ha, yeah, mm, grouped my own music, yeah. Mm, ha ha, hoo ha ha, yeah, uh, cha ha. I have a little report for you, Mr. Minister. That's a low bow. The escaped prisoner has been apprehended. Thought you might like to see him, so here he is. Really? You brought him in with you? Hey, Jowd. Detective Jowd! Detective Jowd, I'm so sorry. I tried. I know that Chow isn't. I just can't prove it. I'm so sorry. Lynn, please don't apologize to me. Ah, the beautiful love between a teacher and a student. It brings a tear to my eye. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. Still, even with this speech. Ah, oh, hey, the gang's all here. Alright, let's see these guys first. You knew, didn't you, Inspector Cavanella, that the execution was tonight? I don't believe I had any obligation to tell you. And you're fine with this! I mean, you know as well as I do! Detective Joe could never have done such a thing! Ha ha ha! Oh, come on now, baby, I know no such thing! Dude, come on. I liked you. Don't be a dick. Huh? I know two things can be true, and only two things. He was given the death penalty, he tried to escape. What else can I do but haul him in, baby? Huh. Yeah. I agree, but at the same time... 
Where was the man who... <sighs> Yawn. Where was the man who had to shed a tear and didn't want to bring his old friend in pointing a gun in the courtyard? <clears throat> if that's the case, why did you bring him here? Whatever do you mean, young lady? He escaped from prison, so why didn't you just take him back? I think you only brought him here to brag about your accomplishment! Isn't that right, Inspector? For your own selfish reasons! So are all those rumors about you true? But the only thing you care about is a spotless red! It's more important to you than saving a friend! The man was convicted of murder, alright? Yeah, he might be a little selfish caring about his record, but at the same time... He is doing his job. Everybody has certain principles they can't go back on, including me. You understand that someday, baby? I'd like to think he doesn't want to be doing what he's doing, but he's trying to... You know... See the positives here. <sighs> <laughs> That's enough, Lynn. But Detective Jared! I am a death row inmate who escaped from prison. This is how it should be. But, but... Well, that's grim. Hey, dude, what's up? Want to talk? Let's shoot the breeze. Yeah. Actually, the girl kidnapped is Camilla. Why is my dream talking to me in my head again? Wait a minute, I'm here! Could it be the, the Amelia that lives next door? Yeah, I think so. Wow! I didn't know the Justice Master lived next door! Not me, my wife. It's uh, complicated. Yeah, I bet she would be pretty hard to admit she left him. And it's just wife ran away on him! Maybe they grew apart! What with him being so busy? Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Stop gossiping about me inside my own head! Boy, I suck to be him! I'd kill myself if I were in his position! Hey, Jowd, what's up? Jowd, baby! So, Mr. Ghost, we meet again. I heard something happen. Something about a kidnapping. Yeah, some kidnappers are saying they abducted the Justice Minister's daughter. That's terrible. What's their demand? Uh, that the carrying out the execution tonight. Ha ha ha! I had no idea I was so hated. But the minister doesn't have to worry. I die and it's all over. Very simple. It's not that simple! Why not? Because it isn't really the minister's daughter who got kidnapped! It's Camilla! Oh, fuck. I checked it out myself, I'm positive. No, it can't be! And by the way, Camilla told me something interesting. She said the one who killed her mother five years ago was Camilla herself. What? What are you talking about? Don't listen to him! I'm the one who shot her. I'm the one who shot Alma. God, why is Alma ringing a bell? Is that the name of a game? Alma. Fuck, I forgot to look it up. And when I'm executed tonight, that will be the end of it. Camilla won't have to suffer anymore after tonight. For a capable detective, you say some incredibly misguided things. Your dying isn't going to end the girl's suffering. It'll bring her new suffering. The only person's pain this execution is going to ease is yours. You dick. Is that true? What Camilla said? Why don't you tell us what you know? Sure. To be honest, I still don't understand what happened that day. It was my wife's Alma's birthday. It's killing me! What is Alma from? I gotta fucking Google this now. Shit. Alma, Alma, Alma. I'm just not getting it. Alma. Alma College. Alma. That's not helping me! Alma character? Character. Alma Wade. The mom in fear. Oh yeah, that could be it. Fuck, that's totally it. It's the mom in fear. Alma. Huh, forgot about that. Well, the mom. She is a mom, but also the little girl. Uh, it's complicated. Fucking 
I'm not gonna explain the entire plot of Fear because I don't have 10 hours. And secondly, that's not what you're here for. But that is totally where I'm remembering Alma from. We came home from work and she went in first. Bang. Mom, mom. What was that noise? I looked for the shooter, but there was nobody to be found. There was nobody besides Alma and Camilla, just the two of them. Died right in front of her. Fuck, that's unfortunate. And of course he thinks it was his daughter who did it. Camilla told me about it. She was crying. She said the contraption she made did something it wasn't supposed to do. Made an impossible move. My God! There's a ghost out there who manipulated it. Possibly the ghost of the man who he shot. He wanted revenge. By diggity, he wanted revenge. And he killed his wife. Maybe. I don't know. An impossible move. It's been five years since then. I stopped thinking about it. I shot Alma. There's no other explanation. That's what I'd convinced everyone of. Even me. But tonight you showed up and gave me an explanation I never would have thought of before. Powers of the dead, right? That day in that room. Powers that I didn't understand were at work. If that's the case, it clears up all the mysteries. Uh, not all of them. Maybe not like you. <laughs> There's a couple people who know about these powers. Well, I mean, beauty. Not so much the other guy. There's somebody out there. God damn it. I sense her presence, you know. I'm not... I know I made the mom Irish for one second, but the next character I made is totally going to be, like, offensively Irish. Kidnappers of Duck Camilla knew about these powers. There's no ordinary kidnappers. It looks like my wife's case isn't coming to an end after all. I'm the only one who thought it was. Detective Child! There's still time before dawn, a little anyways. Like seven hours, dude. How about you see this case through to the end before you die? Yeah, why not? Camilla was a quiet little girl, but she was good with her hands. She was a little genius, making elaborate toys and contraptions. But there were two very strange points about that contraption. The first was, of course, the firing of that gun! Right, that was an antique gun. I had had it on display for years. So it wasn't part of the little lady's original design. Of course it wasn't! It was supposed to be a surprise for my mother's birthday! The other strange point was the movement of the Cupid. Cupid? I didn't see it. All right, so it rose up. Oh yeah, it did spin, didn't it? It was supposed to shoot the arrow without turning around. Yay! Happiness. Somebody made a change to the concraptions design and then manipulated it. My god, it was somebody dead who manipulated it. Probably the guy he shot. I don't know what to say! I didn't have time to think things through then. All I knew was I had to protect Camilla. I made a small adjustment to the scene and turned myself in. Alright, the adjustment. What kind of adjustment? The gun, of course. The gun, eh? Come to think of it. There was no gun. It was just a picture hanging on the wall. Of course not, because I secretly switched the gun out of that frame with the picture. I didn't believe what she told me about the contraption, but one thing was for certain. The gun was still smoking. And you know, upon bullet analysis, it turns out that was the gun that fired it. Dirt dirt. -dir. So the gun really did shoot on her. I hid the gun before I went to the police. You hid it? I put it in a wooden box and gave it to a certain detective. You mean? And that detective still thinks it's a music box. So that's what was in the box, huh? I got a different wet murder weapon ready to give the police my own pistol. Bullet analysis didn't match, but whatever, that 
didn't matter too much to them, apparently. I did a few other things to make it look good. I won't go into details. He probably shot her a bunch more. <laughs> Just so it could be like, yeah, this bullet definitely fired. When it was done, I turned myself in. He probably had to shoot her a bunch more times to make it so it looked like the gun had been fired from that gun. Well, that's grim. Seriously, next person I meet's getting the Irish accent. Her mom, I don't know. She had a cold that day. She doesn't actually sound like that. Detective Jab, is what you told us now true? Yes, of course. In that case, there's still time. Still time. Time to solve this case that started five years ago. Um, I'm right here. I, I know what you're saying. I can hear you. You didn't do it, Detective Jowd. I mean, you, you kind of did. And of course, little Camilla didn't do it either. Nobody suspected her of doing it. Uh, just... So the true perpetrator is still out there. And I'm going to prove it. Ahem. <clears throat> For Camilla's sake. Well, I mean, they go away at dawn, right? So, eh. That sounds wonderful. Boy, the passion in his voice. I would marry that voice actor. Thank you, Detective Jowd. I'd also subscribe to his videos. Lynn, where is that music box now? In Thameson Park. Camilla left it there. Hmm, that sounds like evidence. Thank you. Like, <sighs> that gun is important evidence. You'd better go pick it up. He's right there. How is he not hearing them? Yes, sir! I'll go right now! Cecil, take care of Detective Jowd! And do something about the kidnapping so we can get the minister on our side! <sighs> Easy enough for you to say. What's going on? Do you mean, Mr. Death Row inmate? Quite, yes. A little change in plans. My daughter has been kidnapped. I can't just go off to die without doing something. But you're in our custody, don't forget. Back at the prison, everybody's waiting for you with a special seat just for you, baby. Then I guess we'd better prove my innocence on the double. On the double, is it? You sound so determined, my old friend. I hope you're right. Just say that and we're good, dude. I don't think you're a dick if you just say, I hope you're right. I want to save Camilla in more ways than one. And that's all there is to it. I see, my old friend, in more ways than one. What say you, Mr. Minister? May we have your decision? Should the execution be carried out tonight as planned? Or should we hold off and wait for this important evidence to come in? Sounds like important evidence. The order still stands. God damn it, dude. Bring the prisoner back immediately and resume its in... Bring the prisoner back immediately and resume its enfor... Oh, the order. Resume the enforcement of the order. Hmm. <sighs> As you wish, Your Excellency. Please don't bow down to me. And especially not that Lou. It is a low bow. In that case, can I have one of your boys arrange a prison van to pick him up? Would you be so kind? Yes, sir. I don't fight. Whatever. He doesn't count as a character. I want somebody with a face. Somebody with personality. Panache! The run should be about ten minutes, I'm guessing. Your escape tonight was brilliant. Would you show me another miracle in these last few minutes of yours, Mr. Death Row inmate? Sure thing. Alright. Whoops. Glad to see Detective Jowd all fired up, but I feel like I'm under the gun here. Even if Flynn does come through with Jowd's innocence, it'll be meaningless if Jowd or Camilla dies. I've got to do something about the kidnapping. Maybe we should ask advice from the capable detective. Alright, let's see what he has to say. That'll probably be the end of this video. Most likely the minister won't stop the execution. Not as long as there's any small chance his daughter is the one who was kidnapped. 
but she isn't the one. I'm sure of it. I have to go back to the lady's apartment. <gasps> Yay, I get to do her voice again. Ah, oh, this is going to be my last episode, but not if I get to do her voice. Well, wouldn't we, it be great if we could prove that to the minister? Prove it? How? I doubt his wife is ever going to answer the phone if we call her. If we call her from here, right? But a telephone works in both directions. What are you saying? What I'm saying is only family members can solve a family problem. Hey, Mr. Ghost. Yeah? I have to admit, I don't like depending on others. But you're the only one who can change this situation. Gee, Detective! It's all like, that's all I've been doing tonight! God. I need to go, like, find a whore. Possess a dildo or something. Have some have a bit of fun with this. For these past five years, Camilla is the only thing that kept me going. I can't go meekly to the chair now. I hate to ask this, but would you mind saving me? I'll try. Key to getting just minutes to stop the execution is his wife and daughter, but is there a way? Well, I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to go to their place. Hee <laughs> hee. Whoops. See you around, old boy. Luxurious parlor? Nope. Lynn's apartment? No. Lady Red's apartment? Hell yeah! Ugh, I love that voice! When we come back, ugh, this is gonna be my last episode, but now I'm psyched I get to do her voice again. So until then, talk to Larry Shrewd Negotiators and see you around, Ass Clowns.